the Business Incubator for African Women Enterprises, BIAWE, is a pilot project funded by NEPAD and Spanish Fund for the empowerment of African women in the Comesa region and being implemented by Femcom. It aimed at addressing numerous challenges facing women entrepreneurs in Africa. My name is Alice Waizaka. I am the coordinator of BIAWE Project in Kirby. This is a as a, as this is a, a, a business incubator for women enterprises in the African region, which was uh, targeting four countries, that is Kenya, Burundi, Sudan, and Eswatini. The purpose of the project was to develop, test, and apply widely in Africa practical approaches and incubator models to economically empower women through enhancing capacities and viability of women-managed micro-small and medium enterprises. The general objective of BIAWE project was to establish and upgrade a network of business incubators in Comesa region that will contribute to the increased survival and growth of women enterprises. The specific objectives of the project were to increase the number of women enterprises accessing business support services from business incubators. To increase the women enterprises that access affordable credit to improve and grow their businesses. To strengthen partners between public and private sectors and establish a women mentorship initiative. And to support selected enterprises to meet market standards. The project identified 35 women who are trained in various agro-processing operations, that is to say f food processing. So the women were trained in the areas of standardization of manufacturing processes, quality control, food packaging and labeling, and also uh, marketing. They were also trained in uh, business management by Kibit and also credit access to how to access credit by KIE. Through this project, we have made, been able to achieve tremendous success, although there were challenges that were involved in the implementation of the project activities. Biawe's achievement are 40 women entrepreneurs were incubated for a period of six months. The incubatees were taken through business skills training. 35 women were trained in food processing and five in sanitary pad making technologies. Ongango Lidero Magret is my name. I'm the project manager of Tarin Enterprise. We have been uh, fortunate enough to benefit from a program by the name Biawe, which has been carried out by QD. Through this program, we've been able to learn several things. One of the things is uh, uh, processing of honey, that is plain honey, infused honey, which entails uh, orange flavored honey, ginger honey, and also lemon flavored honey. We've also been able to benefit from getting certification from camps. And also, we've been able to learn how to draw a business plan that can attract investors from different angles. We've also been able to network with other entrepreneurs who have been part of this program and those who have not been part of this program. We really appreciate Biawe for this program and we hope to grow bigger. Over 100 products were inspected for award of CAB standardization mark of quality. A number of incubatees have already been awarded the standardization mark of quality, while others are waiting for the outcome. The incubatees have been linked to private sector supplies of raw materials, ingredients, and equipment. Okay. My name is uh, Mary Nyagoti Rukwara, a sole proprietor of Vita B Enterprises. I'm a BIA project beneficiary. I've benefited a lot in this, under this program. I've known proper way of honey processing, laboring, and also I've known ways of marketing, lighting my own business plan. I'm 
among others. The incubatees have been linked to private service actors, such as Kenya Bureau of Standards, Kenya Industrial Property Institute, Kenya Institute of Business Training, Kenya Export Promotion and Branding Agency, Kenya Industrial Estates, and the Kenya Revenue Authority. My name is Laura Nelima Lubisia. I'm the founder and shareholder of Biakwetu Limited. We are an agribusiness venture in Kitale, uh, but our farm is in Bungoma County. So our farm has an organic approach to farming. Our main crop is herbs and spices, and then we intercrop this with fruits and other value-added trees. Joining this program this year was godsend because we were completing our product development. We did not have cave standards, uh, yet we needed these things to enter the market. Uh, the first benefit we got from this program is being able to utilize the PRD space to complete our product development and apply for our cab standardization and have the inspection done here. This was really awesome for us because our production facilities at the farm currently do not allow us to do that and we don't have all the machines that we need. The incubatees have been exposed to funding opportunities by private and public institutions, such as Biawe Credit Guarantee Scheme, the National Credit Guarantee Scheme, KIE Credit Scheme, Women Enterprise Fund, and Dada by Stanbeck Bank. My name is Asina Kawira. I am the founder of Prona Buzz. We do value addition products, that is uh, granola bars and the breakfast cereals, which are these. So I would like to thank Biawe for accepting me in the program and also helping me get my product out there to the market. Our customers have gotten to know more about our products, their benefits, and where they can get them, where they're produced. And uh, for, for that, we are grateful to be aware and uh, all the information that they've given to us. It has been a very educative and informative program, which not everybody got the chance to got the chance to be in the program, but I am, I am personally grateful for it. And I would like to also thank Kirdi at large because of giving us that opportunity. The incubatees underwent business plan coaching program offered by KIBT. A number of incubatees have been facilitated to gain market access for their products. An inter-incubatee network has been created through a WhatsApp group where incubatees are able to share information and market products. Incubatees are accessing common manufacturing facilities at Kirdi. My name is Judy Kabetu of Bakuli Foods Limited. For Biawe, I was chosen for coconut value addition. So this is what we've been doing. We worked on coconut chips, so we have different flavors for different ages in 100 grams and 30 gram pack. I would also like to thank Kirdi for the opportunity so in the training thanks to the trainers and our teachers and thanks to my fellow biawe women it's been a journey the entrepreneurs processed about a hundred products during the duration which were submitted to kenya bureau of standards and uh, about half of those products have already been certified and the women are ready to go to pilot manufacturing so that they can start the phase of market testing. The products were mainly based on uh, fruits and vegetables, dairy, all milk, honey, uh, roots and tuber crops, nuts, cereals and legumes, and also herbs and spices. Mainly the challenges that we encountered uh, 
uh, in the implementation of the project activities uh, started all the way from the implementation period which was delayed the the selection of the women because we had uh, an overwhelming number of applications from women and narrowing down to 35 was not easy the other challenge was as a result of uh, outbreak of covid pandemic covid-19 pandemic which hit the country really hard and this mean, meant that we had to to redesign the project implementation to accommodate the the directives and measures that were to contain to ensure that covid-19 was contained to avoid the further spread so this meant that uh, we wouldn't have physical meetings for some critical activities and uh, all most of our, of our of our activities were virtual and this had its own uh, couple of challenges and the other problem was the inadequate funding this meant that uh, we had to collapse some activities and also shorten the incubation period to six months. Despite the challenges, we recorded a number of achievements, which included the training, which was very successful, the incubation, the technical training, the business development services training. We had uh, our products, most of the products were from the incubators were able to be inspected and awarded the standard mark of quality by our Kenya Bureau of Standards. Um, I'm really grateful for this program because we completed our KEBS inspection and I believe we will get our standardization marks for the food products. We would like to appreciate the support from the NEPAD and the Spanish Fund for the timely intervention because this project could not have been launched at a better time when the, the, the country was, is going through the COVID crisis, which has led to serious economic difficulties. So we have recorded good progress and uh, for this we attribute to the, to the collaborations that we had with the key players and partners in this industry. We also attribute this to the support that we received from Kild Management and also a very dedicated to our implementation team. We also had a, a committed national technical team comprising of eight members. This helped in the in timely implementation of the activities lined up for, for the incubator. And uh, so out of this collaboration and after working together as a team, we were able to record good progress. Out of this uh, period, the entire period, we have learned a number of lessons that one is that planning is critical in the achievement of the activities that were lined up. Also, teamwork was very important. The cooperation of our incubators was very, very important. And you also learned that um, timings uh, are critical in this, uh, in, this, in this process. Because of, of, of constraint timings, uh, we were able to, to, hire, to hurry our activities and ensure that uh, they were implemented in good time. So timing, timings are very critical in, uh, pro in project implementation. So in conclusion, what I want to say is that the project is a success. We are seeing our women going out there and making it in business. And we are telling them the journey has just begun. The skills they have received, if they put them in good use, they will make it big in, this, in the manufacturing sector. Thank you.